want to introduce you to a piece of software called R. It's installed on this machine, so when I call it up, it looks something like this. R is an unusual language, but especially powerful. It's an open source language. It is a computing language. It uh, produces an entire calculator on your uh, desktop. It can do anything that your graphing calculator can do and yet it exists as a small package on your on your calculator. Uh, here it is. We can do things like multiply numbers or we can add numbers. We can find things like square roots of of numbers. It does all this stuff really very comfortably. We can write as complicated as an expression as we would uh, desire. Here's some data that we had looked at from uh, John Zimmerman's video. Remember he was looking at the heights and weights of four individuals. Uh, somebody that was one year old was 20 inches tall, somebody five years old was 40 inches tall and so on. He had these, uh, these four data points. Uh, we're going to, uh, to look at plotting that that data. Here's the thing that R can do. Look at this data here. The X values were 1, 5, 10, and 12. We can produce something called age, which is the concatenation of 1. Uh, help me remember what those numbers were. 1, 5, 10, and 12. 1, 5, 10, and 12. Now anytime I ask for that amount age, it gives me that 1, 5, 10, and 12. We're interested in the Y values in these plots. Those are called height, so I might as well name that H-E-I-G-H-T. And it's going to be the concatenation of, what were the values? 20, 40, 59, and 70. 20, 40, 59, comma, 70. So now any time that I ask for height, it gives me that particular value. Now it's very easy to plot age compared to height. And it produces this plot. Let me just pull that into our screen so that we can see it. There's the age and there's the height. There's somebody that's one year old and 20 inches high. There's somebody that's five years old and 40 inches high and so on. There's the scatter plot uh, all provided for us very nicely. Now we'd like to also produce the, uh, the uh, R calls it the AB line. That's the uh, the best fit line, the regression line. We need to tell it to to look at the data where height is the x value, squiggle bracket, and age is the is the <coughs> independent variable. And once we've done that, hang on a minute, I've got to go find that graph again. There it is. There's the graph. Okay, the problem with R is that you have to learn some kind of a special language to be able to use it, but it becomes enormously powerful. I already showed you where you can find R. It's, uh, it's just located at, uh, at that website. If you look at... Uh, if you do a search for R project, then you can find where that's downloadable at and you can install it from there. It's an easy install and it's free.